How much money does Hypixel make? How much money does that SMP you play daily make? How much money do extremely pay to win and exploitative servers like Purple Prison make? What about YouTuber servers? How much do they make? All questions I'm sure many of you have contemplated at one point. It's no surprise that Minecraft servers can make absurd amounts of money. How much have you earned? from Minecraft servers in total. <laughs> Around 2 million. <laughs> but the real numbers for almost all of them are shrouded in mystery. Until now, I managed to track and calculate how much money a variety of different Minecraft servers made, with play counts ranging from 10 to 10,000, and they had no idea I was doing it. What I discovered was actually very eye-opening. Here's how I did it. Minecraft servers rely on donations, ranks, cosmetics, and other purchasable goods to stay in operation. They all have an online web store where you can purchase such goods, some of which even have a section listing the usernames of players who have made recent purchases. An even smaller selection of servers actually list what was purchased by the player as well, and in even rarer circumstances, list exactly how much they spent. Now, this recent purchases section is not extensive at all, most having a maximum of 5 to 10 recent purchases displayed, which for some servers may only be purchases made within the past hour or two. But if I could document and track every single one of these purchases made 24-7 over a period of 30 days, that would basically allow me to calculate exactly how much money these servers made per month. And so I did exactly that. I asked Cortex from the Minecraft at home team to make a program that would track and document every single purchase made on Minecraft server stores and then ran it for 30 days. I handpicked a selection of 19 servers ranging from player counts as low as 10 to 20 to as high as 10,000 containing a large variety of game modes and mini games and tracked exactly how much money they made over a period of a month. I included extremely paid to win servers, crack servers, servers from other countries, YouTuber servers and even some non paid win servers as well. And ultimately using this data, we can calculate how much money Hypixel makes being the very first to do so. Let's take a look then. We'll begin with some of the smaller servers on this list and gradually work our way up. Coincidentally, the smaller servers are non pay to win as well. Remember the numbers I tell you here, by the way, because later on in the video, we'll display how they stack up to pay to win servers. The first server we tracked is PvP Gym, a German based practice Minecraft server which, due to its region, has player count peaks as high as 200 and dips as low as 5, averaging about 100 players. The server is non pay to win and has made a total of roughly 917.96. US dollars during the 30 day time period we tracked, with their 50 euro rank Muscle Man being the most common purchase. However, most interestingly, PvP Gym's top 4 donators who contributed about $275 to that total all bought either temporary or permanent cheating unbans. This is something I didn't even know existed, but PvP Gym allows players to not only buy unbans for permanent bans, but also unbans for temporary bans, which is responsible for a good chunk of their revenue. Next, we have Massive Craft, a factions RPG Minecraft server who are the original creators of the Minecraft Factions plugin and game mode by the way. Massive Craft is a server with immense history, having a massive wiki dedicated to it with a lot of RPG lore and information. It's truly one of the most influential Minecraft servers of all time. The server, which is now over 11 years old, is also one of which is EULA compliant and is basically non pay to win as well. Averaging a player count of about 40 to 50 and peaking at close to 100, Massive Craft is making about 1170.54 US dollars a month, with their one month supremium rank being their most commonly sold rank. This is another thing you'll notice many servers now only have temporary or subscription based ranks, rather than lifetime ones. Archer MC is a prison server, regularly peaking at over 1,000 players and having a play count average of about 500. Or does it? Archer MC is pay to win and features a lot of purchasable ranks, items, commands, robots, crates, a battle pass, and much more, but only made $1,256.96. And with a sizable chunk of that coming from about 4 to 5 players, how is such a popular server making so little? Well, I logged on to find out. The owner who was nice enough to ignore me wasn't much help, which is surprising since there wasn't very much action on this server. In fact, I don't think there's more than 30 people online here. Where are the other 400 odd players? Nowhere to be found. It's a botted server, no surprises. But even with about half the player count as the previous two servers, it's still making more money. Can't say the same thing for me though, since my last video got demonetized, which is fantastic considering the content which I was demonetized for is content made for kids, but you can help alleviate that with just the press of a sub button. At the end of the day, they can't demonetize that. 
No pressure, of course. Fire Vanilla is the first SMP to make this list, a mostly non-pay-to-win server, averaging about 75 to 125 players. On this store, we can also see the top donator, Loki5985, who donated a total of 170 US dollars this month, bought a $56 Mythic rank, and six $19 unbans. I'm not sure what Loki is doing, but he got banned six times in one month, and then bought an unban every single time? Well, regardless, congrats on being top donated at Lockheed 5985 and contributing to 5 Vanilla's $1,693.48 earned in the past 30 days. Next, we have Hypixel, I mean Hylex MC, the scuffed pay to win Hypixel equivalent for cracked Minecraft players. Hylex is literally off brand Hypixel, from their name to their logo, hub, and lobby designs, but to their credit, they are decently successful, averaging about 350 to 400 players, the biggest server we've talked about so far. Hylex MC is also our first cracked server, and thus for their pay to win rank perks and play account, they have made a surprisingly small amount of money, only bringing in about $1,711.54 in the past 30 days. This does make sense however though, when you consider that their player base is people who cannot afford or are unwilling to even pay for Minecraft, so the odds of them donating at all is already very low. This is also noticeable with Mineberry, another cracked pay to win server, except Mineberry is over 2 times as big as Hylex MC, peaking at over 1500 players daily. For such a high player count, Mineberry is only making $3421 per month. The disparities in cracked server earnings will be interesting to analyze when we get to the bigger cracked servers later on in the video. Next, we have another non pay to win practice server, Stray.gg. Stray is a growing 1.9 plus PvP server, averaging around 100 to 125 players daily. Stray's Stray rank is their clear most popular, with a total of 62 purchases, helping them earn a total of about $2,225 in the past 30 days. LifestillSMP.com is next, another basically non pay to win server, averaging about 125 players, with two big spenders, ReaperGhost187 and Fadi McFardson, making up a third of the server's revenue alone. Lifestyle SMP has made a total of roughly $3,114. Purity Vanilla is the first self-described Anarchy server on this list, although it's slightly different from traditional Anarchy, featuring two or three rules, making it Vanilla Anarchy. The server averages around 75 players, is also non-pay to win, and has had quite a good month I guess, as the server has earned a total of roughly $3,161. Now ultimately, that was the last of the non-pay to win servers, as now we begin encountering what's known as semi-pay to win servers. Vanilla Europa is the first server we'll talk about, a semi-vanilla server with a top donation rank cost about $164. Vanilla Europa of course has the infamous crate and crate keys which we'll also begin encountering much more often now and while the server averages about 50 to 60 players, one of the lower play counts of any server we've talked about so far, it still has made a healthy $3,612, about three times as much as Massivecraft, a non paid win server with a very similar average play account. Here's another SMP, Melon SMP, a server I am slightly familiar with, of which is your most generic copy and paste fruit themed SMP, like the 72 other servers exactly like it. The server is quite small as well, averaging about 40 to 50 players, yet it's pulling in about $3,918 US dollars per month, once again displaying the disparity between semi pay to win and non pay to win servers. Things begin increasing now, not play account wise, but cold hard cash wise. Mineville is another smaller pay to win server, claimed to have 180 people online, when in reality they only average about 75 to 80 players, yet is making $4,646 a month roughly, and they have some big donators here as well. Our boy Lone Trooper has dropped almost $700 on the server alone, with a few other donors spending over $300 in the past 30 days. I guess that goes to show that when you sell so many keys, ranks, perks, boosters and more, players clearly will buy a lot of them. Speed MC is a server with a suspiciously consistent player count. Too consistent. Oh. This server sells a lot of stuff, it took me about an hour to write everything and their prices down when we went to track them. And hey, we can laugh at their faked player count all we want, for reference they probably average about 60 or 70 players network wide, but it's undeniable they make some serious money from that smaller player base, earning almost 5,000 US dollars in the past 30 days. Interestingly, one of their top selling items is a battle pass, something which a few servers have begun adding relatively recently. Mindmalia is another server which sells so much stuff that I ran out of character count on Discord just writing it all down, but clearly it's working. The server which regularly peaks at over 1000 players daily, averaging about 700, 
is cracked, but much more successful than its other Seven Seas sailing counterparts, earning a bit over 6,000 US dollars in the past 30 days. Interestingly, Mine Malia has some big spenders. By Varrox DC has spent $1,185 in the past 30 days alone, with a handful of others spending a few hundred as well. What this also displays is that when you sell so much stuff, I mean these guys even sell gift cards for God's sake, players seem to purchase a lot of things. Another interesting statistic we calculated for Mine Malia is their number of unique purchases. Out of the total of 267 purchases made in the Mine Malia store the past 30 days, only 89 individual players made a purchase, meaning that a lot of players are buying more than just one thing. We are entering the big boy leagues now though, as the next servers we'll be mentioning are all earning well over 5 figures per month. Universo Craft is the second biggest Minecraft server behind Hypixel and is also the biggest Spanish speaking Minecraft server, regularly peaking at as high as 10,000 concurrent players and being pay to win. You would think that due to this and their immense play count that they are bringing in fat stacks. With well over 1,000 purchases made in the past 30 days, Universo Craft has made 20,205 US dollars total. Sounds low, right? Well remember, Universo Craft is a cracked Minecraft server, so the fact that they convinced 1,416 people who are not even willing to pay for Minecraft to spend money on their server is rather impressive. The next server is also a foreign server, craftmc.pl. Craftmc is the second biggest server in Poland, peaking at upwards of 2,500 players daily. Craftmc is a cracked network with a variety of game modes, and they have a massive catalog of purchasable goods on their store. Now I'm not sure how they've done it, but craftmc.pl has made 27,151 US dollars in the past 30 days. While only having a quarter of Universal Craft's play account, CraftMC has almost three times the amount of total purchases made, sitting at the highest on this list by far at 4,895 purchases made in the past 30 days between 2,565 unique individuals. That is insanely high, mind you. So if anybody speaking Polish could fill me in on why they are doing so well for a cracked server, I'd love to know. Next up on this list, we have Loverfella Craft, the server owned by the big Minecraft YouTuber Loverfella. It's a server which has gained quite a bit of infamy the past few months. The server averages around 300-ish players, relatively impressive, but the amount which they make is even more so. Loverfella's server has ranks exceeding the $300 mark, which is very high even for most pay-to-win Minecraft servers, but the real money makers are hidden in plain sight. The 1000 Lover Bucks bundle, why is that so funny to say, has been purchased over 400 times, earning the server about 3,600 US dollars. The 2800 Lover Bucks bundle has been purchased almost 200 times, earning the server over 4,300 dollars. The 5000 Lover Bucks bundle has been purchased almost 150 times, earning the server 5,208 dollars. That's over 12,000 dollars in the past 30 days from just Lover Bucks alone. I can see why gems and other premium currencies are so common amongst pay to win servers now. With a total of roughly 1,487 purchases made between about 781 individuals, Loverfella Craft has earned a whopping $29,612.76 in the past 30 days, with just an average play count of 300. An absolutely insane amount considering the amount of players they get. But Loverfella would be beaten by a server arguably even more infamous. Known for spoofing their play account, hosting fake sales that never end, utilizing the most egregious methods of gaining players possible, buying voting spots on websites so they show up first on Google, having some of the most aggressive and outright predatory monetization a Minecraft server can have, and being extremely difficult to dupe on. Maintenance. Wow, that was quick. Purple Prison is a server I'm sure many of you are all too familiar with. Now while they do fake their play account, claim to peak at upwards of 1000 players some days, unfortunately for them they forgot to do this for one of their domains, which reveals their true play account of which is an average of about 75 to 100. Purple Prison has some massive whales though, the biggest of any server we've seen so far. Love Attitude, LCXDD and Cat Boss all spent over 1000 US dollars in the past 30 days alone, with a handful of other individuals spending well into the high hundreds. Love Attitude and LXC DDD have spent more money on Purple Prison than some servers like PvP Gym and Massivecraft with similar play accounts have earned in their entire month alone. 
Purple Prison has made 32,115.73 US dollars in the past 30 days. And you know what's even crazier? We tracked Purple Prison for an additional two weeks when we were testing the program, so for a total of about 43 days, and they made about $48,384 an additional 16k in that two weeks, displaying they are making about 8k a week comfortably. Absurd numbers for a play count that low. Yet Purple Prison is still beat by one server. Mana Cube is a well-established Minecraft server dating back almost 10 years now, with a lot of history. It's a server which Dream himself has played and promoted in his videos, a server which was supposedly the first to ever give him YouTube rank. A server with a variety of game modes, regularly peaking at over 1,000 players daily and averaging about 750. Mana Cube has made roughly $36,227.95 in the past 30 days. And during the past 43 days, where they had their special Easter crates and keys available, they made a total of $56,807.07. I decided to hop on their server to tell some players about how much the server had made, as well as how much they had spent themselves, to which they were not exactly happy with, and I was threatened with a mute once or twice from their mods. The very next day, I went onto their store and I kid you not, they had disabled viewing the server's purchase history. Here's what you used to be able to do. See, we can hover our mouse over the recent purchases and see what was bought. After I had some fun with their players, here's what happens now. Clearly they weren't happy I was publicly sharing such information. But I know what you are all waiting for. You want to know how much money Hypixel has made. Now, unfortunately, Hypixel does not list the recent purchases section on their store. However, using the information from other servers we've tracked, we can extrapolate and multiply to apply to Hypixel's play account. There's a few ways we can do this. Hypixel's normal minigames aren't really pay to win, but their skyblock is, meaning they have combined elements from both non-pay to win and pay to win servers. So here's what we'll do first. I'm going to combine and average the revenue from every Minecraft server we've tracked, excluding the cracked ones, to get an average revenue earned. Doing so, we got $10,035. Then I combined the average player counts of all the servers, excluding the cracked ones again, and averaged them to get an overall average server player count, of which I calculated to be roughly 158 players. So, from my data, the average Minecraft server, which makes about $10,000 a month, has an average of 158 players, which sounds high, as it includes Purple Prison and Loverfella Crafts figures, which are notably higher for their lower player counts. We'll keep going like this for now though. So, knowing that Hypixel's average player count has been about 41,000 lately, we can divide 41,000 by 158 and then multiply that by 10,000. This gives us roughly 2,594,936. That's right, according to the data we've extrapolated and applied to Hypixel, Hypixel is earning about 2.5 million US dollars per month, roughly 31 million dollars a year. I'm going to exclude the outlier servers now, Loverfella Craft and Purple Prison, and do the same calculations, which gives us a lower but still extremely high figure of 1.65 million per month, and removing Mana Cube as well gives us a very conservative estimate of 1.46 million per month. If we assume that Hypixel makes the same money as Mana Cube relative to their play count, which considering the fact that Hypixel Skyblock is pay to win, then Hypixel is making 1.86 million dollars per month. If we do the same thing but with Purple Prison, then Hypixel is making 14.6 million per month, once again displaying how insane Purple Prison's player to donation ratio is. I'd say that the best estimate we've calculated is the 1.65 million per month one. Absolutely insane. Now keep in mind, my little study here is far from perfect and the figures are very rough. Hypixel is in of itself an outlier server with no real comparison. Server earnings can fluctuate pretty wildly each month. My owners fluctuate between 1,000 and 3,000 depending on the month, but more on that in a video soon. So my base data might not be perfectly representative, but this is the best idea we're going to get without Hypixel and other servers telling us themselves. The same goes for all other servers who have fluctuations in earnings, play accounts, and more. And remember, those earnings are not including maintenance costs, server costs, plugin costs, staff costs, advertising costs, and time investments, of which can reduce each server's profits by 50 50%, if not more. Regardless, if there's one thing you can take away from this video, it's how little non-pay-to-win servers make comparatively to pay-to-win servers, and I can guarantee you, most of the non-pay-to-win servers we tracked reinvest most of their money into server costs each month, walking away with very little to no profit, sometimes even losing money. But that's a topic for another video, this one's already too long. I hope you all enjoyed this video though, it took a lot of effort, so please subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching.